uh, the, one other thing that you can think about when your dog is a digger is what is causing the digging. Is it boredom? Mm -hmm. Are they looking for more enrichment? Do they want more walks? Do they have a lot of energy to burn off? Is it that they need some toys that they, they can play the with instead? Was there. Is it prey? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Are they a hunter dog? So they're looking for the chipmunk or the squirrels. Right. Um, is it that they are looking for um, some protection from the elements? Sometimes dogs that are outside don't have enough water or cool shade. So they want to so bury they, themselves in. Exactly. Yeah, they do that because it can be a little cooler in the garden. Um, and then another is, if, are they trying to escape? And there are some some dogs who are escape artists mm. um, and that can be some Houdinis that's right and that can be quite <laughs> dangerous because especially if they're not microchipped or um, you don't have a tag on them they can get out under the fence and if you have a dog that does this frequently mm -hmm. um, you can call us or check our website we've got some good resources for so that. once you've identified though why they're digging mm -hmm. how do we then get them to not dig? By diverting their attention. Okay. So if the motivation for digging is I'm trying to shield myself from the heat or I'm looking for cool or I'm looking for water, um, providing an outside shelter, an insulated dog house, right. a plenty of fresh water in a bowl in the backyard is a good option. If it's boredom, certainly take your dog for nice long walks, especially since the weather is getting nicer. It's a great time of year to get out and explore new walking or running habits with your dog. It's good for them and good for you. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, if it's boredom, another option is having a variety of toys available in the yard, so they play with those instead. Before the next question, our manners escape us. We must oh, apologize. Yes, who is Please, the please introduce our friend. I, you know, here. you're right. I jumped in as well and didn't even. This is Miss Pip. She is a two-month-old puppy. She is just sleeping in my arms. Um, and she is available for adoption at our Milwaukee shelter. So she'll be ready to go home to her forever home this afternoon. I was just getting ready to ask you. Let's put her down and see if she's a digger. But she's <laughs> definitely a sleeper or a napper. She is a she's napper. a snuggler, yes. So one strategy I found is somebody who has two dogs. Mm -hmm. I let them out in the yard one at a time because mm. they're oh. a lot more likely to get in the trouble digging together, together in one sure. spot. Sure, And you That's can't catch idea. both of them. No, because you've got to chase one at a time. Exactly. And they might provoke each other, and that's an important observation for you to make. That's a good suggestion. So this is a good time of year with critters being back, the bunnies and the squirrels and the chipmunks and whatnot, mm -hmm. being back in the yards. Just be aware of what your pets are doing. Don't let them out there willy-nilly. That's right. And if you do have pests, find natural ways to divert the pests from your yard, and okay. don't use things like traps or poisons, because those can be bad for your pet. Well, before we divert all our attention from Miss Pip, Pip, let's get another nice... Tight shot. She She's Look adorable. At that baby. Yeah. Now y'all know I am you know not a, a dog. You know person, a dog is I'm cute. When Shannon <laughs> Sims is getting all over that dog. So. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. Got a question for our experts? Send that email. Ask the experts. TMJ4.com. Leave a voicemail. The number is right there on your television. I might screen. just get adventurous and hold the dog during the break. I'd like to see that. <laughs>